Combat in the Wild is brought to you in part by Mossy Creek Game Calls, Bane's Army Store, Fortner Taxidermy, Jeb's Precision Chokes, The Hunter Cam Cradle, Dixie Mud Motors, Hog Swat, Foul Mouth Retriever, Spectre Shot, Bucks and Beard Scents, H and H Timber, and Bagger Buck. Bag. Well, it is Turkey Season Eve finally. Everybody with Come Out in the Wild is pumped up. Um, I just want to show y'all this next hunt that's coming up is one of my favorite hunts from 2012. I mean, this is this is an example of how a decoy can work for you.
Holy crap. <clears throat> oh my. I cannot believe that that just happened. Well, we pulled off another fantastic self film hunt this morning. Came in here before work. There haven't been any birds roosting on this property. This morning there was two roosted kind of close to the property line. I just set up right here in this pretty bottom. Killed my turkey pretty close to here over the morning last year. And threw them a couple of calls. And here they came. I didn't have the strip decoy out. I really, you know, I've already killed two. This is my third one. I'm done. But I, I really was scouting more than hunting. But I had this old zinc avian decoy out and he was eating it up that was just too pretty i mean how can you let a turkey walk anyway but i mean that was unbelievable i mean that decoy had his attention so much that it allowed me to self film get my gun up the other turkey was back in and the other turkey started to come back in and all better over that last second anyway just a beautiful hunt this is my number three. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna quit going. I'm gonna start taking kids. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm taking Cole Miller in the morning. So, just an unbelievable hunt. I mean, that's what we do it for. We get that heart pounding, adrenaline pumping. Oof. I just want to touch on how important that decoy was in that hunt. I mean, those birds, you could tell they were paralleling me and were had no intention of coming in even though they were gobbling. But as soon as they got down that lane and saw that decoy, they were coming and, and one of them even, you know, was, was cautious enough that he didn't come in. But I'll tell you that one, I mean, he just bit on it hook, line, and sinker. I mean, that, that was an awesome hunt. I enjoyed it. but. A good looking decoy, I know a lot of people don't like decoys, but a good looking decoy can help you out a lot in the turkey woods. Well, as always, head over to Facebook, give us a like, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with everything we're doing on a daily basis.